Bobby. Welcome to another exciting adventure at Bobby's Hobby House. I have as a guest tonight my wife Sandy, and we're going to talk about some really exciting things uh, relating to Valentine's Day. We're going to, we're going to do some Valentine projects tonight. Yeah. I'm going to demonstrate three different things tonight. But, but first, first, we've got lots we've got of new some stuff. New stuff. That's right. In the model world, uh, the Star Trek models are back. Oh, we had a little trouble there. getting them for a while. They Star were so Trek popular. models were very scarce. We don't have them all, but we've got some back. So if you're a Trekkie, you want to jump on this pretty quick. Uh, we also had another new model come in. This one's really neat, too. In the Pensacola neighborhood, this is exciting. Um, a PBY model. This is the, we've always referred to these as toothpick models. It's designed as a non-flying model, but I'm sure as I'm standing here, somebody's going to make this one fly. And uh, really neat model, brand it's new. It's a lot of pieces of wood, Jerry. A lot of pieces of wood. Somebody's going to have a really good time. Yeah, well, that. this is designed to take up a little bit of time. Did you but cover it? Like it totally when you get through it? It says on the box top, you can cover it if you like, or if you would like to see its strug structural <laughs> beautification. <laughs> and you can do it that way, too. Well, that's neat. So like so many hobbies, it's a matter of how do you want to mm -hmm. do it. That's the kind of airplane your uncle used to fly, too. That's true. Uh, uncle Bob flew right. those in the WCW2 event and sometimes afterwards. <laughs> well, we still have a lot of classes going on right now, too, Jerry. Um, right now, we've got our little calendar of events. Um, I haven't printed any more schedules because we're fixing to put out a new schedule in just about 10 days. So I encourage you, if you want to get on our mailing list, if you should call in or come into the store and give us your name and address, and we'll send that schedule to you just as soon as it comes out. And that'll be the schedule for the rest of March, April, and May. But this is a calendar that not only tells you about the classes, but it also tells you about all those events, like okay. when our radio control meetings are and so on. You want to talk about that? This is the radio control meetings. You've missed the one for this month. Well, there's uh, another one, though, for the giant scale, the right? giant scale radio control models will be meeting on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock at Bowie County House. Uh, this Saturday, we have the plastic model building people will be in the uh, in the classroom at 2 o'clock in the afternoon if you're interested in building plastic models. This is a very casual group. If you want to pick up a new technique, new materials, uh, these guys are where that's happening. Yeah, they have a good time this day all afternoon. <laughs> yep. Some of them build models in there, and mm -hmm. some of them uh, have things that they've recently done, a lot of show and tell. Mm -hmm. Also, the Japan Culture Society is doing a uh, an exhibit down at the Pensacola Art Museum that's also this Saturday and they'll be doing traditional Japanese arts and there's a bunch of it there. It's always so beautiful. Yep. Uh, the RC Swapy is coming coming up later this month. We want to call Tim Parker and ask him for the date and time and place. And speaking of, uh, aren't you having a railroad seminar in just a few weeks too? That was We last do that week. at, well we do it, you ought to the tell second, us. The second, second Saturday. The second Saturday of every month we have a model railroad seminar. We had the first one this past past Saturday. Uh, we weren't overwhelmed with folks, but we're going to be overwhelmed later because there are a lot of people doing new things in model railroading. Uh, speaking of model railroading, there's a swap meet coming down the line. You want to stop by and pick up a paper on that too. We'll, we'll have a program regarding model railroading as we come up a little closer. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. basically what's oh, there's well, a Fair Hope Craft Show March. Uh, 20th through 22nd. That's right. It's a big it's craft show. It's, one, it's, it's probably the first really big craft show in the area for spring, so you won't want to miss it. Because all these people come in the shop and buy all this material so they can make all these wonderful things and go out and sell them. And it's really neat. I love to go to craft shows and see what they did with all the stuff we did. Oh, that's so, pretty exciting all the way down the line. But speaking of which, you know, if you, if you go to a craft show and you see all this stuff and you say, oh, gee, I wish I could make that. Well, you can because you can come to Bobby's Hobby House and take a class on how to do marvelous things. And let me tell you about some of the classes we have still have openings in. This is a really cute, if you're into Mardi Gras, this is a Mardi Gras school doll pin. It's a pin you can wear to Mardi Gras parades and stuff. And that class is this Saturday morning. So you don't want to miss out on it. It's a really cute little pin. Is this a register in advance? Class? Yes, yes. But you can call me at the shop and I'll save a place for you if you're going to come on Saturday. You just kind of have to know how many of these to, to cut out and everything. But this will be a really fun class. And next Saturday, we're going to, this is the next Saturday, which is the 22nd, we're going to do a new Donna. We've already had one <laughs> class in here, but we're going to have another one since she was so popular. And it's a real easy class. 
And don't be worried if you can't paint this face because we will help you make it real easy for you. We try to make our classes easy for everybody. Fun, fun. Yes. Um, we also on the table have some baskets. We teach basketry. I thought this um, was because I was doing a basket case over here. Well, maybe before we're through with you. Yeah. But um, these are some of the baskets we teach. We teach from beginners to intermediate. Um, our basket teacher is also into weaving and quilting. So oh, we that's have challenging. yeah. So we have a lot of talented people working for us and stuff. And we have a lot more classes straight from stuff hanging on the wall that they may show you as we go along into the break or something. But I'm really excited and want to show a couple of projects now. Okay? Well, what is this thing that has come between us here? What's, uh... Oh, you want to do that one first? <laughs> so I can get it out of the way. This is a rose topiary tree. Topiaries are very popular in home decor now. They come in a variety of sizes from about this size or maybe slightly smaller up to about three or four feet. This one was made with Carrie's favorite project, product, yeah, ribbon. Man. And all of these little roses are made with ribbon. And I want to show you very quickly how easy this is to do. I'd like to pick up the phone while you're doing that. Hi, you're on Bobby's Hobby House. Okay. Well, Hi, you're you on Bobby's Hobby House. Yeah, uh, I've got two tickets on there. How yeah. much is it running for? That's running about $52. Yeah, Quite I have a, a whole bunch of planes that I can use in that they can fly. Okay. Okay. Thanks for calling. You're welcome. Okay. This is a corsage ribbon, which is usually made for bows for corsages, wedding bouquets, and stuff like that. This is probably number nine or one and a half inch. And I'm using designer coffee glue, which is my favorite product. We don't have a glue gun, which is the next best thing. So you take the ribbon, and you turn it over, and you move it in the back. And then you just turn it for a little bit. And you have a chain in your center. And then you just take the ribbon and fold it to the back. And it's going to give you the angle, and you just keep rolling, and you get to the end of that, and you fold again, and you fold again, and you keep on going, and you can have the size, and you do this you like. Generally, uh, this size rose, which is this size right here, and it takes about nine to twelve inches. So out of the yard of ribbon, you can get three to four inches. start with is a wooden heart. Isn't there a song about that? A wooden heart? I believe that was an Elvis Presley oh. song, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. You take a wooden heart and you start by painting it uh, with a white primer, which in this case is a white acrylic paint. Then after that's dry, I could use my pencil. Thank you. I was hiding it. So <laughs> okay. You know. Then you would want to mark it off in triangles. And you just mark it however you want. It doesn't matter. They can be in any direction, anywhere from three to five little squares. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is paint each section in whatever color you want. Now, I've already painted the pink sections and the green sections. So we would paint the other section in blue with a flat brush. 
And what's good about these acrylics, these are Delta acrylics, Ceramco acrylics, is that they are very opaque, so they cover. In case you make kind of a mistake or something, yeah. you can kind of firm up the, your line. The flat brushes, if you haven't seen our brush selection, you've missed a real treat. We do we have, have quite a lot, a lot of brushes, brushes both yeah. for acrylics, oils, watercolors, you name it, we've got it. At any rate, you would paint your other sections and let this dry. And this acrylic paint will dry within 20 minutes under these lights. It may dry before I get it on here. <laughs> but anyway, and don't forget to do the sides as well because that's what gives it a really finished look is to do all your edges and everything. Okay? And you want to always be sure that when you're working with acrylics that you always clean your brush thoroughly. Quickly. And quickly because acrylics do dry fairly acrylics quick. Acrylics are kind of neat. She was cleaning that brush in, in normal water. everyday that's tap right. water. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to want to do when that's dry and you'll notice that I've put a screw eye in here at the top, which is where my cord. I put the screw eye in there at the top. All right, okay. you put the screw eye. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these paints, like we use on shirts. We do the dimensional writing on the shirt. We carry a lot of different brands. This is the Delta brand. It would not matter what brand you used. They all do the same thing. But you've got to get them started. And you always start them on a paper towel, just in case something is going wrong or if you have a clog. This one has a clog, so we'll take the other color. We're not going to be real particular about this tonight. Oh, okay, get it started on your paper towel. And then you just simply make dots or lines or squiggles or whatever you wish to do to design and to help fill in and give some decoration to it. You can do this in any color that you like doesn't matter. These hearts don't necessarily have to be a valentine color. You may want to do this. Oh, that one's that's not going to work, and I forgot to bring a pin. But at any rate, you could just do those. Okay, while you're squiggling, I'm going to talk to the phone again. Okay. Hi, you're on Bobby's Hobby House. Uh, yes, I was wondering how much those Star Trek models were going for. I am supposed to know that. Do you remember? Fifteen to $15 seventeen to dollars. Seventeen dollars. There's some smaller ones in there too. Really? Uh, but there's right now. I have a pretty good choice. There's pretty good variety in there. Okay, y'all got a lot in stock then, huh? Uh, I'm not overwhelmed. They'll go fast they, because they, it's been a while since we've been able to get them. <laughs> they they they've been really popular across the country, and it's been yeah. hard to get them. Okay, thanks for calling. Okay, and that's basically what you're going to do. Now, when you get through, take another ribbon rose, Terry. Uh -huh, of course, uh -huh. this isn't one we made. This is one we purchased. We and sell ribbon roses that are already together right. for people. Then you put a daub of the paint, and you just place the rose in it, like uh -huh. this. And when you get through, it's going to look like this one. And you'll have a lovely necklace. And we've used satin cord, which we also sell in the in ribbon, the ribbon department. department. And we've just run that through our little screw eye, tied some knots in it, tied some knots in the end with an extra loop so that you can just slip it through just like, oops, wrong way. The bigger knots on one side, you just slip it through and you wear it. And okay. it's a really very nice piece to wear. Very easy and very quick to make. Wait a couple of seconds for the paint to dry. <laughs> yeah, you, you should wait. This, you now, the, the dimensional paint can be used on any wooden surface, which is really neat because a lot of toll painters now are using the dimensional paint to add to their toll painting which is another extra. craft that we do. Yeah, it just adds so that you have a little bit. Not everything is just flat patterned on it anymore. Okay, now, I would like to show some shirts, but if we're ready for a break, I can show the shirt when we come back, and I'll demonstrate another okay, Valentine shirt. Okay, well, we'll take shirt. a short break, and we'll be right back with some, what kind of shirt? A Valentine shirt. A Valentine Quick and shirt. Easy. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Kelly Shockley, your host of Cooking with Gas, sponsored by Energy Services of Pensacola, Natural Gas, the natural choice. Join us each Sunday evening at 5.30 as we prepare fabulous recipes shared by the many chefs of our local restaurants. You'll enjoy watching the chefs and learning their best kept secrets. Join us each Sunday at 5.30 for Cooking with Gas.
do you get great service from a MetLife rep? He's got terrific follow-through, answering tough questions. He's fast when it comes to paying claims. He's got lots of drive and power. And he makes neat saves when the going gets rough. It all adds up to advantage. Met life. Get met. It pays. Your local Met rep is Rowan Cecil at 478-6390. Hi, I'm Herman Luskowitz, host of Primetime Real Estate. Won't you please join me each Friday evening at 8 p.m. for tours of exciting real estate developments and interesting interviews, whereby you can call in your questions. That's Prime Time Real Estate, Friday evenings at 8 p.m., live on Blab TV. Oh, if you happen to miss the Friday show, you can always catch the rerun on Sunday evening. You'll hear a lot about bankruptcy from people who know just enough to be wrong. If you want accurate information about bankruptcy, come see me. I'm Amy Logan Sleva, and your first consultation with me is always free. Most debts are excused in bankruptcy, and you can have a fresh start with little or no debt while still keeping your house and other personal goods. If you do need to file bankruptcy, I will be with you personally every step of the way. And I do understand how you feel. Get the professional help you need at 438 6603. Shirt and let, let me get you wound up on this for just a second. We've got calls okay. waiting on the line. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to pick ahead. up the phone. Hi, you're on Bobby's Hobby House. Now, I wanted to know, I heard there was a new way of taking care of the art that you do on the shirts with paint. If you could explain that. And are you going to have more classes on Monday, Wednesday night, and maybe Saturday afternoon on your new schedule? Thank you. Okay, thanks for calling. That's okay. a bunch. <laughs> okay, first of all, um, let, me, let me address the classes. In the new schedule, we have classes on Monday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night, Friday night sometimes, and Saturday mornings, but not Saturday afternoons because we have all the model things in the afternoon. We don't have classes on Wednesday nights because we're doing a show on Wednesday night. Um, so, be. now, the second thing that she's talking about in, in taking care of the shirt, there is a new sealer out, but it's very similar to the washable glue. Any shirt that you put on and you put painting on, you can put a layer of the washable glue, either Stitchell's glue or okay to wash it glue, okay very to thinly wash it over so it. Neat. Yeah, I know. Every time I say, well, they say, how did you do that? And I say, okay to wash it. And you say, I know it is, but how did you do it? You know, it just delights <laughs> me, but that's the name of it. Any of that, um, this shirt that I'm showing right now has a layer of Stitchell's glue over the floral design, which seals in your painting and stuff to make it last longer. But that's not really a necessary thing if you are washing it properly. And you should wash your shirt in lukewarm water with a fabric softener added after you paint them and then line dry them. And that way they will last for a very long time. If you're using cold water, breaks the paint down and makes oh, it crack. Oh, does it? I thought cold water would be good for me. Well, that was what it was when we first started this, but they have since determined with a lot of testing that that is not good for the shirt. So. Um, oh, these guys are doing a lot of that's testing. That's right, that's right, and so am I. Like okay, well, let me do this quickly because I really want to show okay. you how to do this shirt. But this okay, particular go. shirt was one we did a class in where we took, this is stationary on this shirt. We did a stationary. transfer method, that's right, it's stationary. And we're going to have a class in the next series that we show you how to take photographs and put them on to material in the same process and stuff. So oh. all this was was stationary and doilies. This one is done with a lace panel you know, we used to put these in hoops and stuff, but it's a lace panel that I've again attached with OK to wash it glue because it dries clear. I'm going to have attached floral appliques with uh, one do under and OK to wash it glue both, depending on how I did it. And I used the crystal glitter really nice. yeah, so that it looks like you don't have a paint around the edge, so that you know you don't have the paint standing out and showing. Oh, but what okay. I really want to show you is a really quick and easy way to do a shirt. It just requires a few simple materials. Now, these hearts that I've attached onto the shirt are cut out of a stencil plastic that we sell, but you could do them just as easily with a um, 
piece of cardboard or thin poster board or anything else because this is just temporary. And then I have used the stencil stick, which is a repositionable adhesive, and I've sprayed that on the back so that I can lay them down anywhere I want to do. Okay? That's now I, pretty cool. Right, yeah. And you just cut them out any old way you want. Now tonight I'm using regular acrylics like I use on wood. The only difference is, is that I'm using textile medium with the stuff, half and half, so that the, the paint, acrylic paints are so thick that they cannot um, sit into the fabric, they sit on top. So when you put the fabric thickener in there, it makes them be, act more like a dye. Go ahead and get the first. Okay. Hi, you're on Bobby's Hobby House. Hi. Um, I was looking at the first shirt that she showed us after mm -hmm. the commercial break, and she said that she had used stationery, made a transparency out of stationery. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was wanting to know what she made the transparency with, what she used to make that, and can it be applied to something other than material, say wood? Um, the product that I used was stitchless glue, and yes, it can be. The process for wood is a little bit different. If you come by the shop, I'll explain it to you. Okay. Yeah, I know we used to do something like that with a polymer, and you just can't find polymer anymore, and I was racking my brain. Thanks. Ah, but you can find polymer at Bobby's Hobby House, and yes, you can still do it that oh, you way, can. too. Yes, Certainly. Ma oh, well, my mother told me you couldn't do that. I'll have to tell her she was <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, thanks okay. for calling. It's not good to tell moms they're wrong. Just <laughs> explain that, oh, you forgot. Um, okay, what I have done well, is... Well, you've got is, your toothbrush and the paint. <laughs> it's not mine, it's Sharon's toothbrush. Okay, oh, be going we're going to just that. very quickly show you that I just take the toothbrush with the half and half paint and just spatter. And I'm going to do this with a lot of different colors, okay? I suppose it's going to come off your thumb and everything. Oh, yeah, it's washable. It's non toxic Your thumb's washable? Yeah. Okay. okay, then when you got through, you would pick these parts up. Okay, you just peel them off, but I don't want to peel them off because I want to do my you're other color. You're going to splatter more paint on Right, you would, you would splatter another color up? or something. Oh, you're going to do it some yeah. more. Now, you should always start your spatter on something so that you don't make big okay. loops, okay? The more paint you put in it, the further away, the bigger they get. And you just do this all over. Toothbrushes Does this look artistic? Or a stencil brush, that's really good, but don't use your husband's toothbrush right off the rack. Okay, right. once you have you that part done. You might have to tell him later that, uh, see, I don't know how that stuff, I don't know what that is. Okay, the next part that you want to do is that you would take and peel the hearts off, and now you can just barely see them. So what I'm going to do to enhance the heart is I'm going to take some of the same acrylic that's been mixed with those stuff, and I'm going to stencil little bows. And when you're stenciling, you always want to check your brush, make sure you don't have too much paint. And just position it, and because I want a solid line, I'm going to put it on a lot good. heavier than if I were not. And you just put that in there. Yeah. It sounds like the Keebler elves or something. <laughs> tapping, tap, tap, tapping away. And this okay. is an official stencil brush. It's flat on the That's bottom, right. so it works very you well. You also will work for the spattering technique okay. as well. Okay, so once you have all your hearts and your bows and stuff, then you can do your outlining with your dimensional paint. And I'm going to use a shiny paint tonight because I don't want any glitter on this shirt. And what I would do is go around all of the hearts with the color that I wanted to do. Well, that really the emphasizes sizing. the heart. Mm -hmm. That's nicely, yeah. nicely done. And you would just continue doing that, going around. I want to put purple around my purple one. And you don't have to have a real steady hand for this. You can go real slow, you can go real fast and stuff. Okay, now, what else I would like to do is, I don't think that I have enough design on it by the time you get all of these. So what I'd like to do is to take the same paint with a little sponge part, and I'm just gonna spun some various little parts around my shirt wherever I'd like to have. So I have kind of a solid because these are a negative and now I want to have some more All parts. right. Now, because this is dimensional around these and a flat bow, I'm taking your favorite product again, Terry. More ribbon. And I'm attaching oops, a little bow. Bows. Right. By putting a little bit of the paint in there. And what I would want to use is the same color paint as the bow. Now, I can also, besides that, I can just put them, the bows, anywhere on the shirt that I want. If you wanted to, you could add rhinestones to this the same way. 
and, and just however you wanted to do it. You could do it to fancy, but take the basic idea and continue on with it, enhancing it and making it your own design. And because the, the heart can be placed anywhere you want, you, you, no two will ever be alike. So that's I could, yeah, I could picture how no two would ever be right. alike. And tomorrow the shirt will be finished and in the shop. But that just goes to show you just a real quick and easy way. So the shirt that you came to hang your head is the one we did last time on the show. Okay. And that was done with doilies and the same heart sponges that I'm using tonight, which was a product called Miracle Sponge, which we are temporarily out of stock, but should be in later. Actually, the first of next week, I would have said. But, you know, there's just a lot of things you can do with shirts, and we encourage you to get out there and try. And you guys have a lot of nice shirts over there. Is that yeah. Oh, one other thing I want to tell you, if you didn't notice the shirt I'm wearing, this is the Jelly Bean Gang, and this is a very important Wait, shirt. hiding the Jelly Bean. The shirt workshop that we're going to be doing on March 28th. It's an all-day workshop, and this is the shirt we're going to make. Leona's coming from Huntsville. And we're just going to have a great time to see the little ears are all detachable and everything. It's going to be a wonderful time. Then went at Christmas with her, and we just okay. had a marvelous time. So you'll want to come and find out about this and everything. That's a nice looking bunch of critters on there, isn't it? I know. Don't they? Look at the cute shirts they've yeah, got. Aren't yeah. those wonderful? So this is going to be a fun shirt to do, and it's just color book themed, so don't feel like you can't do it if you can't paint. No prior experience required. No. We like many of the hobby, hobby things we have at Bobby's Hobby House, not a lot of prior experience is required, and the folks there are fluent hobbyists. We can help you with it. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back in two weeks with another exciting adventure of Bobby's Hobby House. Meanwhile, give us a call if you have questions about your favorite hobby.